Good evening and welcome to Facebook Live where tonight I'd like to share with you a free phone app to help you lose weight and get fit and it's called My Fitness Pal. Now most people have tried My Fitness Pal before. Um, you know, work, loads of users have it and the best thing about My Fitness Pal, it's free and it's free for live. So the bad thing about joining a slimming club, you're kind of hooked in, you start using their technology, um, and then before you know it, whenever you cancel, you've lost all those tools that you've really been finding vital. So this is why My Fitness Pal is so great, because it is a free app and it's free for live. And it's got some exciting things on it, like the free barcode scanner that a lot of www people <laughs> love. So how do you get My Fitness Pal? First of all, you need to go to your app store. So if you've got an Android, you open Google Play, okay, and you just type into the top My Fitness Pal. So I'm typing in My, my Fitness and even, look, I've just put My F and it's come up straight away Calorie Counter My Fitness Pal. Can you see that? Or oh, a message has just come through. Um, but you can see there, uh, can you see the little blue logo? And it's the person jumping. So if I click on that, this is the app, guys. So that's the app, and it is free. Now it has got a premium version. Uh, so you can pay extra not to have the ads on there, but that's about it. It doesn't really do much else apart from getting rid of the app. So stick with the free version. You get a few adverts coming up saying upgrade to premium. You just click it off, okay? So then you will download it if you haven't downloaded it before. And then when it's downloaded, you click open. And then it will tell you, um, would you like to log in or would you like to create an account? Obviously, if you've had an account before and you can remember your password or something, uh, then sign up like that. Then it will ask you some questions about your height, your weight, your age, also your goals. How many pounds do you want to lose? Now, this is quite important because if you're in the mindset where you know you are really, really motivated and you can do this, then put in two pounds per week. If you're the sort of person that is off a diet, on a diet, off a diet, on a diet, you just find it really hard to stick to uh, an eating plan, um, then just put in one pound a week because obviously then you get more calories. Uh, I'm laughing at Yvonne. If I typed my F, who knows what? <laughs> Come up. So yes, yeah, so I'm glad you picked up on that, Yvonne. I did type in my F. <laughs> So this is my fitness pal. Now, let's just assume you've all got this downloaded and now I'm going to show you around my fitness pal. So as soon as you open it up, this is the home screen and you can see it tells you how many calories you can eat. Oh. It tells you how many calories you can eat, how many calories you've eaten so far today, how many extra calories you've earned through exercise. If you've got a modern phone, it will track your steps through uh, your phone or you can connect your Fitbit or your smart device to it. And then it will tell you in green how many calories you've got left to eat. If you've gone over, that goes red, I'm afraid. Okay, so that's the little bit there and you can see don't want to show off or anything, but you can see the orange line. It tells you that I've already hit my goal of doing 15,000 steps today. Okay. Uh, it's very similar to um, other apps where you can update, so you can write something, you can add photos and stuff. Uh, but it's also set to private, guys. So none of your Facebook friends are automatically on here or anything like that. So you can control who you're friends with. Um, and when you are friends with people, their updates just come up on this news feed. So you can see here, Christine, who's just been one of my clients now. It says, Christine has burned 1,038 calories doing 225 minutes of walking. Congratulations. So well done, Christine. Um, so just little updates like that. And as I said, you can share who you want to add and things like that. So that's the first page. Now the sec second page, which is the main page in the bit that's really going to help you, okay, it is the diary. 
so this is the food diary it says up here today and obviously you can move it along to which day you want to do and it says breakfast so if I click on add food it will then come up with a search box and I can pop into there oats so let's say I had porridge this morning uh, and then it comes up with Aldi porridge oats, Sainsbury's porridge oats. So you can search the foods you like. However, here's the cheat, guys. Here's the exciting bit. Instead of searching in that box, okay, you can see it's got a little barcode scanner. So if I open the barcode scanner, there we go. It then opens the camera. This is where I'll get my skimmed milk out and I will scan my skimmed milk. I'm scanning the skimmed milk and as if by magic it looks it up. Looking up, looking up, looking up. There we go. And it shows you skimmed milk by Aldi. And that's correct. Now you can see it's this carton is one liter and it's bought up the portion size which is 250 ml at 83 calories so if you were going to have more or less than 250 ml which is a quarter of that liter uh, then you would need to change the portion size so uh, for instance let's just say we we're just having it for for milk for tea and coffee for instance so we would just change that to 0 0.2 and that would obviously be then 50 mils okay so it's as easy as that uh, Yvonne I've got a red telephone box as a phone we'll need to be able to find out the score thank you for the birthday wishes Yvonne um, Vicky where am I it looks like a classroom this is the training room where I do my Tuesday evening Slim Brother Clubs in Burton I also do my one-to-ones here as well so it does look like a classroom it's the Slim Brother School mm -hmm. okay uh, I'll just show you another little gimmick because this is something that the WW app doesn't have, and I love it. Um, it's a location base. So if you click on that location, my phone's quite unsensitive, I don't know why. Um, and then it searches all the restaurants in the area. Can you have a look? So we are in um, the Swaddling Coat area. So it, it shows you the Premier Inn, uh, Burton on Trent, and some menus are on there of major places, uh, but I can also request menu, um, and it actually goes to the My Fitness Pal head office and they try and get the menu for you and they'll update you via email, which is quite cool. Um, so I love that little location uh, thing of, because obviously you want to eat out we all know it's good to check the menu and check calories first. So using that tool there is good. Uh, and then for those of you who have used these uh, tracking apps before, uh, you can save recipes, you can save meals, you can see my chocolate porridge protein is on there. Uh, and then you can also, under my foods, you've got all your used foods that you use regularly. Uh, you can also multi-add don't know whether you've known that so again if you're having quite a few different things that you regularly have you click on multi add you can go tick 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 and add them all at the same time um, so just to show you that um, let's do two eggs so when I click on the two eggs and I find the calories I click on there and then there we go. So it has tracked the uh, eggs for breakfast. And obviously my calories have gone down and then it works out the edge. Um, it does all the maths for me. It also tells you when something's high in protein, fats and sugars. Uh, so this is telling me this food is high in protein. So it does steer you towards some good things now this is something a lot of you guys don't know when you turn your app around it breaks down your micronutrients so if you did want to know how much fat and how much protein was in that egg you've just trapped 
tracked. Um, it will show you the individual results. Uh, and at the bottom of this page, it will also tell you your totals as well. So if you have put your micronutrients in, say you wanted to eat a certain amount of protein or fats per day, then it will tell you uh, whether you've gone over or whether you're still under. So that's just a little hack there when you turn your phone. Now this is the number one thing which I myself and a lot of my slimmers absolutely love. So let's go back to one of my uh, days where I've tracked everything. Okay, so Wednesday last week. Um, now at the end of the day, it also tracks your steps and your exercise. I'll go back to that in a moment. Okay, but this is the exciting bit for me. There's a big button at the bottom of your diary that says complete diary. Can you see that? So if I click on complete diary, it works it out for a second. And then it says, if you continue to eat like this for the next five, way, five weeks, you will weigh this. So what it does is forecast your weight, your sorry, your weight loss, or could be your weight gain if you're eating too much. But it forecasts what your weight will be in five weeks' time if you continue eating like this, which I think is so motivational so let's say it's 6 p.m. and you've eaten all your calories and you think oh I've got a long night coming up as soon as you press that button and then the carrot of your weight gets dangled in front of you this does inspire me and a lot of my slimmers have said this as well for them to stop eating so I really love this and as I said uh, you can do that by at the end of every single day when you've eaten your calories um, then it also if for instance you didn't eat enough it would not show you your project your projected weight because if you didn't eat enough and you think that you can lose weight faster by eating very little it will also tell you off in red uh, it comes up you haven't eaten enough we will not be sharing this with any of your friends because uh, obviously they don't promote under eating uh, and losing weight too fast in fact as i said earlier you can only set the maximum goal uh, to two pounds lost uh, so I'm going to click off that. So that is the diary page. And as I said, uh, there's loads of other little functions, but that's the, the main thing that I love it for. Uh, and then on the me page, it, can sh it will show you, this is your username. So if you want to know your username, it tells you at the top under the me page. It tells you, uh, you can put in your location. It's got a streak as well. So every day you log in, it obviously counts them up continuous days. So you can see that I've got a 20 day streak. I had over 100 days, but then there was one day that I didn't track when I was Egypt. So I lost all my streaks there. Uh, then it also, also tells you your progress. I'll show you how to update your weight in a moment. Um, and it, you can obviously put in your goals uh, you can also add friends on here which I'm going to go to in a moment and you can also add your tracking things so um, let's go back to home because this is the other main function I use with my slimmers is to update their weight so when you're on the home page you've got a big blue button slightly different layout on uh, iPhones but when you click on the blue button, this is where you can either quick add food or we're going to add weight. So again, if you click on the purple one, this is where you can update your weight. Now, when you update your weight, I'm going to do it just so you see, then you get this lovely little graph. You may have seen me. I've posted this one before. Uh, so it's just, again, it's really inspiring. You can see all your weight losses here. You can even add photos. Um, so for those of you who do use the WW Weight Watchers app, either Weight Watchers have copied them or they've copied Weight Watchers because these apps are almost exactly the same apart from this one's better because it gives you all the uh, micronutrient information. And a lot of personal trainers also use this. Uh, when you're at your weight app as well, you can also do it to like the last month, the last three months, or you can do it on all, which I love, uh, and then you can see your overall weight loss. Uh, and as I said, you can also put photos on there. You can see I've added them from years ago you can also post put in your weight as well so you can put your heaviest weight in from uh, when you first started you can put your birth weight in if you really want to um, so you can do that 
Okay, then under the settings, the menu, uh, there's a couple of things I just want to show you here. As I said, there's loads and loads of stuff, but my favourite things is if you click on steps, you can let it track through your phone, or you can set it up with your Fitbit, which I do. Um, try not to set it up to too many different things because obviously it will track your steps from all the different things So you want to choose one thing uh, which for me is my Fitbit. So that's the steps um, Should you eat your exercise calories? Yes or no? Um, this is a, again a big debate whether you've done Weight Watchers and did you used to eat your fit points? If you're doing Slimming World, do you, do you eat your body magic extras? Um, if your weight loss is going well and you're hungry after exercises, then I would have some. Uh, just be really careful, though, obviously, um, because if you are exercising a lot, it will give you thousands of calories extra. Uh, so you do need to be careful with that. So a little bit of trial and error. Um, and then also on the menu, friends. So if you click on friends, you can then, uh, it shows you all your friends. So I've got 162 friends shows you your requests and then in the corner it can add your facebook contacts so you can add people from friends you can add from your contacts or you can add usernames. so if you want to add me guys click on email and then type in my my fitness Bell username which is jody bunting j-o-d-y-b-u-n-t-i-n-g uh, which is all one word type in your name and then send me a request and then I can add you. Now the reason I personally want you to add me is so you can read my food diary. So you know, it really inspires me uh, to track my foods and to allow you guys to, to look at and hopefully get some good ideas. It also helps me stay on track. Uh, and then the, if you want to share your food diary with your friends or you can even make it public if you want to, come down to the privacy center. So if you have a look at privacy center, when you click on that, you can click on sharing and privacy settings, and then you can click on diary sharing. So when you click on diary sharing, by default, everybody's food diary is set to private. So the top one, I have mine on public, so everybody can have a look at my food diary. Uh, but a lot of people put it on friends only. So obviously then the people that you add as friends on here. So all my Slimming Club members, I add them all as friends and therefore I can see their diary. A couple of them who are sensitive about their food diary, uh, we've put a lock on it with a key. So again, you can put a code number um, just to keep it extra secure for saying maybe you want to add a few more of your slimming friends but you don't want them to see your not all of them to see your diary so you can do that and, and that's basically it guys as I said it's called my fitness pal it's free uh, if you if you're not high on technology as in using phone apps it's also on a website so you just go to myfitnesspal.com um, and it will give you a username exactly the same there so you can track your foods via a laptop or whatever computer you want to do uh, but as I said if you are finding it difficult to to lose weight remember we are nearly at the end of January uh, and maybe you do need some help with this and it will work out your basal calorie need so it will work out exactly how many calories uh, and the one more thing um, that I particularly find my fitness pal useful compared to Slimming World and Weight Watchers is the fact that calories belong to everything so everything has a calorie written on it and there's no free foods although free foods and limited foods zero foods are useful for many people if you love food like me um, you know, it's not so useful because you kind of, if somebody says you can have unlimited, you have unlimited. Um, so it is nice to understand the, the full uh, nutritional value of foods. And as I say, it is written on, by law, it's written on all products as well. So again, that's really helpful when you are counting calories. So if you've got any questions, please feel free to ask if you know anybody that is slimming with slim brother and myself uh, they all my slimmers love the app guys so feel free to ask them uh, all about my fitness pal as i said if you'd like to add me uh, or you'd like to look up my food diary for today what have i eaten today you can find out right now just go to myfitnesspal.com forward slash jody bunting and you can see my food diary 
right here, right now. Thank you for joining me, uh, and I'll be back with more. For more of my YouTube videos, go to youtube.com forward slash Jodie Bunting. Bye for now. Goodbye from the training room, the School of Slim Brother, here in Burton. Bye-bye.